Hello YouTube, uh, today we're replacing a transformer uh, behind the control panel here on my um, my Jandy control panel for the pool. I just came in, um, this is the old one, I replaced it, wasn't getting any power uh, here on the control panel, so I'm putting the new one that just came in, hopefully it's the right part and we will see if that was the problem. Of course, every time you're working with electricity, the first thing you want to do is shut off the power to it. This one here is really easy. All you do is remove the two screws here and this comes right out. And the uh, transformer, as you'll see, it's right behind right here. In order to get to it, you have to remove these two screws right here. After you remove that, as you'll see, the transformer was right there. Of course, all you have to do is remove these two screws and it comes right out. Um, again, with the power turned off, what you want to do is these, this is the, um, your power here really easy the white was right there and the black wire was right there okay the neutral and the power okay in case uh, anyone needs it this is the um, the part uh, number that I got I will post that in the comments uh, would appreciate it if you're ordering if you can order from there thank you okay seems uh, very very similar but the this right here is different. The one on the right is the one that was in the unit, the old one. And the one I receive is the one on the left, the one with the white uh, tip. So on here, looks like it will fit. But in the back, there's a little gro two grooves, I should say, that this one has. Oops. This one has that the white one does not have. So I need, don't, it's not going to be a problem just looking at it here. You can see the back has nothing to do with it. So only the front to be able to grab. Okay, so we have the unit on. We have the two screws nice and tight there with the ground. And connected here to the uh, control panel. Okay, now to put this back on, just reverse what we, the two screws we previously removed. Okay, so we have the two screws back on. Before you push it back, make sure no wires are getting caught back there, at least in mine here. There's a lot of options and a lot of wires. So check all that before you, uh, you turn the, uh, the power back on. Okay, check everything before you turn the power back on. Next thing is to turn the pump and the uh, control panel uh, breaker on and see if it works. Okay, so definitely seems to be working. Okay, that's how it should look. And that's by turning on that. Next thing is to check inside. Okay, so the inside panel, which of course also wasn't working with the damaged transformer, is now working. Let's go back outside to turn on um, all the other breakers. Okay, so since it's already set up inside and it's on auto and it's within the time of the pump being on and d during the day, it should come on now when I turn it on here. Okay, so everything uh, is back to normal now. I don't have to go outside and mess with it. Everything will work. If you have uh, any questions, Anything you would have done differently, especially the first couple of days I post this, I'll try to get back to you as quickly as humanly possible. I'll check my emails. Um, if the video helped you save some money, as it did me, I found the breaker very inexpensive by doing a lot of work. And also the uh, transformer got a great deal on it. So, um, you know, go ahead and, and use it from uh, down below where you see um, on the comments where to get this information from 
as always try to save you time and money uh, on my videos repairs around the house and in your vehicles if you enjoy it please subscribe share the uh, share the video and give it a thumbs up appreciate it Patriot Marine out